trillions will flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM. And Zion Coins will benefit by understanding market making. This is the end of the five part series. AMM liquidity providing. It is 2023. Happy New Year, people. And really, I just want to say it's all about AMM today for this year. Fourth. And Nathan, please take it away. The last in the series. Have a great day. That's, that's, an, that's an app idea for me. <laughs> just, just sprung out of this. Government um, intervention may also increase execution costs for um, institutional investors. A new tax is one example. For instance, there could be an implementation of tax on trading that would increase the cost of commissions. In addition, regulation could be passed that fosters signal exchanges markets as a opposed to more competitive but fragmented markets under such a scenario. Commissions could be higher in the future, at least for transactions in assets with lower possibility of of uh, price price um, comparison by market participants and end customers. So really. If they're introducing taxes, there's a there's a possibility that okay, well, why don't we look at doing high frequency trading through, um, you know, uh, foundation like a a charity charity foundation, and its main ability is to provide its main cause is to provide liquidity. Yeah, and from its fees, it can then provide charitable funds. There's a thing. That that needs to be thought about for us, especially Zion Zion Coins Foundation. Um, so yeah, I could read on, but you get the gist, right? I, I want to conclude because the video is getting long. One of the more important questions regarding any new development in the financial market microstructure is its impact on transaction cost. If transaction costs are low, market participants are better able to hold assets most suited to them, and informed participants are more able to trade on their private information and impound it into asset price. High frequency trading has quickly become a term known to the general public. The idea of computer running financial markets has raised concerns among other market participants, the media regulators, academics and general public. One of these concerns is high frequency trading has increased execution costs, a component of transaction costs, at least for some market participants. There is a small but growing literature trying to understand the role of high frequency traders are having on the financial markets this paper aids this paper adds to the literature by addressing an open question whether high frequency trading activities increases or decreases institutional in investor execution cost we show that the UK like in the US there has broadly been a decrease in institutional execution costs over the last decade. This trend, however, was interrupted by the financial crisis, which caused execution costs to increase between mid-2007 and mid-2009. The rise of high-frequency trading could be associated with an increase, decrease or no change in institutional investor trading costs. We find an association between the majority, the major latency changes made by London Stock Exchange high frequency trading activities, but no measurable association between these latency changes are our measures of execution costs. Assuming that these technology changes only affect institutional trading costs through their affected, through their affected on high frequency trading, we use the technology shocks as an instrumental variable and find against that the high frequency trading increases execution costs are unchanged the two stages last square approach we implemented reduces the problem of engo endogenuity and that basically means endogenuity is like um uh uh a disease or a 
symptom within an organisation, something to that effect. I had to look that up. Um, if the assumption of the exclusion restriction is valid, that makes answering the question of causation difficult. We do see an increase in high frequency trading activities, but no concomitant. I took that up as well. No concomitant collateral to that effect. I looked that up as well again. Change in execution costs. We fail to observe a relationship between high frequency trading and institutional execution costs. In part, this lack of funding is driving is is driven by noisiness of our standard measure of execution costs and the fact that we examine two events where high frequency trading increases for a short time. Our work is ongoing and with more time, we will develop the study. And of course, we've already elaborated on that, not me, myself personally, but yes, and kind of, yeah, because I am testing crypto, right? We deliver the study. We will uh, we will attempt to extend analysis to additional measures of trading costs and to cover more events. And we will examine other oncoming measures such as market spread, high frequency trading profits. And then we've got references. So yeah, it really is worth having a read. To get, to get an understanding of market making and high frequency trading, it is quite important. I mean, some of the language used in here, like, you know, I can't even make out what it says, to be honest with you, can be a bit ominous, but just look it up and you'll you'll get to that. It's, it's probably not actually that important. The main thing is, is that the, the paper, the study is proving a case for high frequency trading. OK, and whether it's not whether it's worthwhile or not. My point here is that, yeah. AMM is very important. It's very important for liquidity and you can make money in it. So with that aside, Nathan, over to you. And there you go. Thanks for that, Nathan. I've chopped this up into bite-sized pieces. I will try and upload just a, a full one hour or 51 minutes video um, of market making. Obviously, um, this is just the research. You need to read the report for yourself. Um, research obviously was carried out by a government department of science um, driver report which basically suggests that market making is good for any market there is no real um, added cost that being that if a market maker um, exists in a system if a market maker is allowed to exist in a system would it cost institutions more in the long term in the short term will it cost retail investors in the long term in the short term and it's a it's it's a pointless question because market makers provide liquidity right which means that you can get in and out of the markets there can be malpractices bad practices within um, certain groups of market makers that want to push the prices up or um, decrease the prices so they take over the take over control of the order book and move it in a the direction they want to move it in, potentially. Um, but you've got market makers competing with market makers, and you know you can imagine the struggle um, to do either of those things. You have to have a lot of capital behind you to do that. So it would have to be an extremely big player in the game to be able to do something like that. Um, but that is market manipulation. That's not allowed in. Um, any any um, regulated stock market crypto it still goes on the pump and dumps um, but you know what um, the crypto industry is regulation is around the corner we've had the White House paper um, the first framework you know out this year and you know they regulation is coming it's that simple and you know you, you'll see less and less of these pump and dump schemes but having said that um, we're talking about market making. We're talking about getting involved in market making. I think it's highly important if you want to make money in um, the crypto industry. Market making is a good place to start, especially on Stellar, where Stellar provide the facility, the liquidity pools for you to be able to use and make your own markets. And um, I think that's where we're going to go to next. We're going to be looking at Stellar automated market making. Um, how to set up a liquidity pool and um, actually how you can be making money out of these um, liquidity pools. So without further ado, I'm Nathan 
aka Nathan of Zion. Smash the Zion coin up there. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It's going to be on Stella, and it's going to be on AMM, Automated Market Making, Liquidity Pools. Have a great day now. Check out the next video. Take care.